Okay, so you are coming in represented as the Nine of Swords reversed. I like that it's reversed because it, this tells me that you're releasing the anxiety, you're releasing the fear, you're releasing the stress, and you're getting a better night's sleep. Um, I feel like something was going on in the past to bring this feeling of anxiety and stress and fear-based energy to you, all right? But it's no more because you have new beginnings in love and in passion and inspiration with the Ace of Wands coming in, okay? I feel like maybe some of you are dealing with um, maybe a fire sign. It could be, you know, a Leo, um, Capric no, <laughs> a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. But I do get the sense that this is a new beginning in life. Uh, excuse me. Every time my face itches or if I'm fidgeting with my face, it just means I'm channeling. And it's crazy, but it makes my face itch. <laughs> so that's what's going on if you see me just messing with my face. That's that's what's happening. Okay, so yeah, I feel like this anxiety is going away for you all, Gemini, and a new passionate beginning is coming in. Create a start. This could also be spiritual beginnings, maybe a spiritual awakening of sorts. All right, you are feeling nostalgic because foundational to you is the Six of Cups coming in upright. This is a card of nostalgia. This is the card of the past. This could also represent a past twin flame, twi past soulmate coming in for you as well. <sighs> what am I getting? What am I getting? I feel like you're also being asked to connect with your inner child and to sort of remember who you were, um, you know, as a kid going, growing up. What is it that you wanted to be? Um, what is it that made you happy? What, what were your dreams? you know, growing up and sort of to revisit some of that and incorporate your more of your inner child in with you in your current state. In your past position, we had the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Maybe some of you were dealing with an air sign. Maybe, I'm not air sign, earth sign. That would be Taurus, Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Maybe an earth sign reversed themselves out of your life. Maybe this could be part of that past lover that's coming in, right? But whatever it is, whatever this nostalgia card has um, means for you, what it symbolizes, again, it could be living in the past, revisiting the past, and it could also represent, again, a past lover coming through. It has you feeling anxious. It has you feeling combative, defensive. Um, this, 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 is, this card is people problems. So maybe it's not such a good thing that this blast from the past is coming in to visit you. And I believe you're like the second or third sign, you know, for February that's getting this um, blast from the past. Um, but yeah, I get the sense that it's it's not sort of a, a happy reunion. There's conflict. And I don't know if they're asking you for another go round, but you're fearful of heartbreak. You're just sitting in your future position. You're fearful of getting your heart broken again, and there's a lot of back and forth with it. I feel like there's a lot of struggle on your part because I do get the sense that you know there was love there, and I feel like there was a great it was a great relationship once upon a time, but maybe not so much because it did end and it ended for a reason. And I feel like now they're back, and you're like, oh God, look, you know, if I give you another chance. I'm struggling with myself because I don't want to get hurt again. And it's valid. It's valid. So these are your concerns with this, this um, past flame. Okay? So you are seeking mental clarity. Um, Page of Swords reversed. I feel like there's a lot of confusion going on, you know, associated with this. And we see that in your mind's eye. You're struggling. You're back and forth. There's just a lot going on up here emotionally. And you don't have the clarity that you that you desire right now. And it is emotionally draining for you. This is the four of swords reversed. You're exhausted. It's time to really take a pause and to reflect and to step, step back and be like, look, I need to catch my breath, right? I need to catch my breath. I need to figure this out. And um, I don't want to be in a situation where I'm going to get hurt again. Not interested in having a broken heart again by the same person. So I do get the sense that once you allow yourself this time to reflect, to rest, and to recharge, you are going to choose to ultimately to walk away. I think you're going to walk away from the connection realizing that 
it didn't serve your highest good. It was a karmic situation and it ended for a reason. And now it's time for you to, you know, you're walking away from the spilled cups and going in search of your two of cups, your true love, your real love, right? And I think once you make this decision, you're going to feel so much better because this is the eight of swords reversed. So you have the nine of swords reversed. You have the eight of swords reversed. You have the five of cups reversed. So you're walking away from shit that no longer serves your highest good. And you're like, no, F that. Because I've got bigger and better things coming in. I've got new beginnings, new blessings, new love, new passion coming in. And it doesn't involve the past. The past is in the past for, for a reason. And it's time for you to let go of all of that anxiety and all of that toxicity that just really stressed you out at night. And that stressed you out, you know, for... Sorry, there's activity going on outside, city living, sorry. But yeah, so you, you are walking away from things that no longer served you and you are getting a better night's sleep. And I think you're excited about that and you are gaining the mental clarity that you need because these swords of confusion are falling out. Now you, you're feeling empowered and clear-headed to move forward and really, really embrace this awesome Ace of Wands. Because Ace of Wands hmm, can be a passionate love interest, a new love coming in. It's, you know, that spark of inspiration for your passion project. It's that spark for life. It's that motivation, that that fire in your belly, you know, that makes you want to get up every day in the morning and be like, yeah, I'm going to work. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to have a great day. It's, it's just, I don't know. Ace of Wands is probably one of my favorite cards because it's just like... It's just so exciting and there's so much promise and possibility and optimism associated with it. So I really appreciate the Ace of Wands and I'm sure you do too, Gemini. So, all right, since we're kind of on the topic of love and possibly being revisited by the blast from the past, let's check in with the Pure Love Oracle deck. So Feminine has three, Masculine has two, Okay, so masculine to his feminine is saying, I feel I do not deserve you, and I'm sorry I hurt you. Okay, yeah. I feel I don't deserve you, and I'm sorry I hurt you. And feminine would like to say to her masculine, I need some more time. I'm sending you love right now, and I wish you were with me. Yeah, interesting. They say time heals all wounds, right? Yeah, so I get the sense that there was maybe a check-in with this particular connection. And it is someone from the past. And it could be the recent past, I'm getting maybe six months ago, that you all decided to, to break up and split. And I feel like the masculine is admitting that he said or did something to hurt the feminine. And, you know, create the split, create the separation. I get the sense that there was a check-in recently because she's saying, I need some more time, right? And she's like, look, I need more time. I'm not ready to deal with you, um, but I, I wish you were here with me and I'm sending you, you know, love and light. So there is love there on her part, but she's just not ready to accept this masculine back because she really is struggling with, with her feelings, with being conflicted about her heart that's still not healed, right? And she doesn't want to get hurt again. I mean, she doesn't. Who wants that, right? But there are new beginnings coming in for her or for this Gemini. Again, take it how it resonates. So the on the feminine side of this particular Oracle deck, the feminine is saying that they're not, that they need more time. But the reading for the Gemini is saying there's new opportunities coming in in passion with the Ace of Wands, and Gemini is struggling with a wounded heart, with putting themselves back together again, and they're not ready to deal with this particular person. They may be ready to deal with someone new, to welcome in a new opportunity, maybe to go back out on the dating scene and just kind of see who's out there, put out some feelers and see what connections are made, what friendships are, are you know, created, you know? So you might be ready for something like that. So keep your options open, Gemini. So do you get the sense that, that that's what you're doing, that you're healing. You're healing from this connection and 
it was a profound connection and it, you're still very much fearful of a broken heart and you're not trying to exacerbate the situation further. Because I, I feel like if you go back to this person that you're going to be regressing in your, in your healing process, that you may be fearful of regressing in your healing process. Um, and I don't think you want to do that. But you are choosing to walk away from situations and energies that don't serve your highest good. And you are going in search of your two of cups. And we're seeing that with, you know, the five of cups reversed. Once this man turns around, there's two of cups waiting for him. So, yeah, and you are releasing the anxiety and the stress. We're seeing that with the reverse eight of swords, the reverse nine of swords. That's you crossed with the ace of wands. So, yeah, a healing and a blessing is coming in for you. New beginnings. You know, it's time to, again, let the past remain in the past. And, you know, again, you've told this person, I'm not ready for you. I can't deal with you right now. I need more time. I love you, but I need more time. But in the meantime, you can continue to explore your, to, you can continue to explore your opportunities. New people, new connections, new friends. See what's out there. You never know. All right. So let's go ahead and check in with the Shamanic Oracle deck. And see what the shamans have for you. Nope, don't like that one. Sorry, I need a clean, um, a clean shuffle. That was, <laughs> that was not it. <laughs> so, we'll take these two up on top. What do we have? Hmm, the corn and eagle. So eagle is all about the strategic vision, the big picture. And corn deals with abundance. So I'm going to pull from the book. Um, I really want to make sure that you're getting the essence of the message because these these cards are these cards are awesome. So corn is coming in for you. Corn represents the mother of sustenance and tangible abundance. This symbol represents material prosperity in the world of form that provides stability and sustenance to many. There is more than enough. You planted a beautiful field of dreams and worked hard. Even in moments when you were losing faith, you continued. Now the spirit of the corn comes to honor this and show you a bountiful harvest. This is the, this is the time to reap the rewards of hard work and trust whether those rewards are financial or the kind of prosperity measured in quality rather than quantity. You are so blessed when this symbol appears. Don't forget to share your good fortune. Oh, I love that. I think you needed to hear that, Gemini. You're so blessed. You're taken care of. Life is really good. You know, there is an, an abundance of blessings for you. So I'm happy to see that message coming in. All right. So Eagle coming in reverse. It's coming in as medicine. So I'm going to read it upright for the meaning and then I'll turn it reverse for the medicine. Okay. So Eagle comes from the East, the place of the rising sun of new beginnings. She soars high in the sky, sees the smallest detail with clarity without losing track of the bigger picture, and nests in the high mountains. For Eagle, there are no obstacles, only opportunities. She calls you to ascend, to acquire perspective, so you can fly wing to wing with great spirit. Oh, I love that. So your medicine is, it's time to see through the eye of Eagle. Let your vision of the whole and and of its parts become laser-like and set your priorities straight. What did you come to do in this life? Did you come to climb up the ladder of financial or social success? Did you come to become a better person, to heal your heart, and to realize your essential self? What is your divine mission here on earth? No more excuses. Of course you don't have enough, of course you do not have enough time, enough money, or enough sleep. Yet the time is now to fly to your chosen purpose. If you postpone it, you are betraying yourself. Look through the eyes of Eagle and consider every obstacle and opportunity. Where you set your intention is where you'll end up. Free yourself and live your highest destiny. Fly. Oh, hang on. Let me see what's going on out there. Sorry. It's just... <laughs> I live in a large city <laughs> and kind of went on a busy street and, um, you know, sometimes when you hear ruckus and commotion, you just kind of need to check it out to make sure your personal property is okay. <laughs> All is well. <laughs> 
So it's just the wonderful joys of city living, which I love, but you know, it's always exciting. But yeah, so Gemini, this is your this is your time. This is your time for you to, to fly high like an eagle. Things are great. Don't worry, you are taken care of. And now is the time, I feel like this Ace of Wands goes right here, right in line with the eagle. And this is about you just following your path, your calling, what's your purpose on earth? Again, I was asking you, are you here to climb the financial and social structure, the social ladder, or are you here to be a better person and to fulfill your life's purpose and dream? What is that? So what are you meant to do here on earth, Gemini? I feel like that's the big question, that this is the ace that's coming in for you, this ace of wands. What is your life's purpose? Because your life's purpose is your passion, okay? Comment below, let me know what that is. I'm really interested in hearing about that. So up next is I'm gonna tap into the Sacred Earth Oracle. We're gonna see what's going on there. I love these cards because they have uh, a great way of communicating with the message of the Shamanic Oracle. And there's been a lot of synchronicities that have been coming out. So, and plus the artwork is gorgeous. So you receive the card of expectation. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Yeah. I am drawn to the dragonfly wings. I'm drawn to the fact that this person is facing the east of the rising sun. And we just talked about the east in the rising sun, which is new beginnings. I feel like this card is illustrating the message of the eagle what the eagle represents. So the eagle governs um, the direction of the east. So yeah, I feel like this person is facing east, admiring the rising sun, a sunrise, new beginnings, spreading their wings of transformation. This is a dragonfly, which, which represents transformation, movement, air energy. Yeah. I like that there's buffalo in the foreground. And I like that there's, you know, a luscious green pasture because I feel like this represents abundance. And I sort of feel like that's perfect growing ground for the corn. Yeah. So I feel like all this is connected and that overall the spirits are telling you, Gemini, that all is well. And it's time for you to tap into your life's purpose, your divine purpose, and move forward in that new beginning. Harness the energy of the eagle and fly high. Fly high and have no regrets in the direction that you're going in. Yeah, set your sights high and, and just go. Just, just go. All right. So let's go ahead and conclude with the message from the um, angel messages. Let's see what's coming through for my Geminis. Okay. Your message is coming in from Shanti. I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. Oh, I love that. I think that's exactly what you needed to hear, Gemini, because we're seeing all this reversal of sword energy. You have four of, four of swords reversed, eight of swords reversed, nine of swords reversed. You have five of cups reversed. All that is just letting that emotional baggage go. You're, you're letting the anxiety flow away. You're... You're healing from a, a challenging time in your life. And now it's time to answer the call of Eagle, to fly high, to move forward with your life's purpose. And Shanti is here to say yes, and it's going to be a smoother ride. I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. Oh, I love that. I love that for you all.